Hi guys, I hope you had a nice day. I wanted to share some of my day with you. My sky in Anderson, South Carolina. Toxic. I go out, it's toxic. I come in, it's toxic. The polyurethane, by the way, is so much worse. And yeah, I feel sick. My eyes are killing me. I feel nauseous. I can't believe that I have to live this way. But I do, and I'm going to post a video on uh, responding to some of the comments, but I did want to say thank you for all of your support and kind words. Now, I see the black in the white clouds in uh, mid-afternoon. I know we're going to have an awful lot of carbon dust flying around, and we'll see it when the sun begins to sun uh, set. So. You'll see it in a second. This is not a natural cloud. Every day, every day, we have something in our face, smack in our face, obvious, that our natural world has been taken over. So all the spacing in between the clouds, that's created by the microwaves, but what you are looking at is artificial cloud substance. And you're also seeing, when the camera goes in and out of focus, the pulsating frequencies. Pulsating frequency right there. So, I want you to take note of the horizontal nature of these clouds and the black in them. I'll get to it in a second. I was watching Jane Tandy's video. Jane, I understand. I get it. I, you know, to be upset by what you see is healthy. You're a healthy human being, um, especially when you're surrounded by people who just don't care. That, that then tells you that none of this is going to stop. It's only going to get worse. And you're going to get, you're going to get worse because the toxins that they are pouring into our atmosphere, the microwave saturation, this radiation coming from cell towers and Gwen towers and, oh God, all over the place, antennas and cell phones and smart meters and Wi-Fi. Well, it has a really dangerous effect. And no, we're not all living the same experience. There are people who live in areas where they only have one cell tower and it's several miles away. There are some of us who live in areas that are it's just so highly toxic and has been for so long that it's very hard to escape any of this. You can't. All you can do is do your best to feel okay. Now, this blob here, what is this? It comes off of black smooth clouds and it looks like this bulb of, um, I don't know, just all of these little holes. But the white, kind of in the middle, upper middle, that's moving. Nothing else is moving. But that little white dot with a little bit of uh, very thin wisp of cloud, it's moving. I slowed it down. I can't hold the camera steady anymore, so I apologize for that. But that thing is moving. You know about nanotechnology, right? Nanotechnology being used to modify the weather and create artificial clouds. I gotta post that video on that military document that goes into the nanotechnology that is being used. But that, if you look closely, you will see that thing is moving. I don't know, I just wanted to share it. So yeah, another toxic day here in Anderson, South Carolina. A lot of people will say, oh, that black stuff is coal ash because they heard that from someone else. Well, it might be coal ash, but I say that black carbon dust, 
is absolutely being used in addition to the coal ash. But I'm sticking with black carbon dust as the major ingredient that they use to modify the weather. Pulsating frequencies right there. So you are checking out the horizontal nature of these black white clouds. You know, I'm outside breathing toxic air. I come home to an apartment that is so toxic with the polyurethane. I feel, I, I, I just, I, this is my life. <laughs> All of this black crap on the pink, is it lithium? Probably. No, it's not the sunset, but people drive around here. They see this. It's right smack in front of them. It's in our face, obvious. The world has changed. Nature has changed. This is in the opposite direction, by the way. But you don't hear anybody talking about it. <laughs> well, I thought I'd include the black carbon uh, horizontal cl clouds I took pictures of in Great Barrington. You're driving down the street, you see this huge, just layers of horizontal weird cloud. And in 2011, when I took these pictures, nobody cared. I was alone then with a consciousness that was different from everybody else, and I'm alone now. But, ooh, horizontal clouds, large horizontal clouds. Characteristics of the carbon cloud. What is this from? It is from a paper entitled Weather Modification by Carbon Dust Absorption of Solar Energy. Department of Atmospheric Science, Colorado State University. This was back, I believe, in the late 70s. What else does black carbon dust do? Well, it can increase rainfall and snow. It can reduce hurricane intensity. It can alter cyclones. It can dissipate fog. But check this out. Nanotechnology. What is that black? Well, that's in Kentucky. But you see that black thing right there? And if you notice, it looks a little microwaved. Well, watch it move. Nothing else is moving but that little black thing. And, well, it just kind of travels along into another cloud. But hey, doesn't that sky look pretty? Yeah, you want to go out and have a, a deep breath of fresh air. <laughs> That's all I have for you.